Congratulations. Congratulations. You Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to that, right smash there. like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut out right. the like, comment, subscribe. It's just gonna be that. Damn on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, welcome to Heat Wave. My name is Brian Belcher, and I'm with. Chris, it's the Hutch Hutcherson. <laughs> I Ch- grow my hair with chia. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Mitchell. My beard is 80% chia. <laughs> and Brittany Saturn. You think this is real hair? <laughs> <laughs> and Great. <laughs> as you can see, uh, we are just uh, fixated with chia today. Uh, but that is not our first topic. Jairus, what's our first topic <laughs> Darn. today? How about that for Man, you? Man, you're just right. doing some I'll be great back later. Sagan. Some good old, I love Sagan. Sag away. All right, <laughs> citizens. What do you think is going to happen when the internet goes away? <laughs> like, oh, let's man. imagine a world where... Where uh, the apocalypse is not <clears throat> happening, but the internet goes away? Well, it might be an apocalypse. Like, it could be an apocalyptic event, but if yeah. just the internet went down. I think the internet going down could cause an yeah. apocalyptic event. Mm-hmm. You mean just, like, immediately goes down or something that kind of slowly, like, boop, 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 goes away. I was places. thinking just went down, like, bam. Just went down. Like, yeah. right went down. now, like, the internet just went out. Yeah. And no one knew what was wrong or how to fix it. No one could communicate. Right. I think that the well, world that would be, be part of it. In fucking they chaos, couldn't... we wouldn't so be able to communicate. Most cell phone lines are actually using the same infrastructure as the <clears> internet. <throat> mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that could be a part of it is that we wouldn't be able to connect, like contact each other. So yeah. right to now, figure... mm-hmm. I think the only way for that to really happen is if someone did two things. Mm-hmm. Uh, a, we had all of our satellites go crazy in mm-hmm. that situation that happened in that right. space shuttle movie happened, mm-hmm. which could easily happen. Yeah, there's a lot of space junk up there. It's thanks, China. Ba- thanks, space debris in general is a bad situation. And they'd have to sever the big international cords that go across the oceans. That yeah. has happened, though. Yeah, but they'd not have to- not all of them simultaneously. Yes. But Dolphin w- terrorists. No, somebody dropped an anchor and it landed oh. on one of them and severed the line. What yep. are the chances? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's its a legitimate thing. Mm. Like, we think of the internet as this ever-present thing. Yeah. But. Well, we remember life before the internet. Yeah. <clears throat> and it was way different. Um, yeah. That being said, most of our jobs depend on Yeah, it I was going to say, I think yeah. all four of us would be out of a job. All mm-hmm. of our financial yeah. transactions would get would yeah. Not. I, d- I haven't used cash in a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, there like, are some places that don't even accept cash anymore. Either. Yeah, <laughs> it would take a huge effort to because I mean all this you know bank banks you know keep track of money digitally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the effort in like you know making sure that you know how, how much money someone has like yeah. you know that I mean that's going to be a huge issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'll have to go back to newspapers to find out what theaters have my movie <laughs> I want to see at what times. Yeah. Like, like a play. Wow, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. I or you could call them, time. too. Well, I used to work. call them. I don't want to ba- risk talking to a person. Phone? Yeah, you call movie phone? Movie phone was a thing, wasn't it? No, I yeah. don't know what it was Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would just call Were they the... just slowly read out all of the movies <laughs> I would the call times? the theater and bother them and be like, what movies are playing? And then they would tell me. And then I'm like, what times are is that particular movie playing? And right. they have to tell you. <laughs> so there was a time. I remember that time period. Now, your theater probably still doing that. Yeah. My theater only had three movies. So yeah, my so... theater is a little different. <laughs> yeah, um, the, the, the Mayberry one, I had to. Uh, it eventually caught up and had we, like the automatic well, stuff. Well, they they did, but like you had to call them like outside of like their working hours yep. because otherwise an actual person would pick up and then you'd have to ask and it's just like and oh. there was only one person who worked there yeah yeah so the thing is is that uh, after a while I believe it was like two thousand they moved over to a point where they just had you had to listen to their whole spiel of every mm-hmm. movie yeah, in time and then be able to talk to someone nice. What's what if that? there isn't a movie emergency? Well, I so the only reason I know this is because our good movie friend cops. Tanner. 
worked at a movie theater. <laughs> okay. So huh. I would call him. Did you just like to hey. chat? Yeah. Well, like What's back playing? in the day when people actually talked on <laughs> the phone, I would be like, "Hey, I know you're at work right now, but yeah. we're going to do this thing later. Do you want to come or something?" Yeah. yeah there's yeah, a yeah. lot of bleak shit that we could talk about with the internet going down. Essentially, <clears throat> Fight Club yeah. happening, mm-hmm. uh, a whole bunch of stuff. But really. I think we should just talk about all of the dumb shit that the internet has killed <laughs> that we'd have to go back to. Like yeah. talking to people on the phone like plebs. Yeah. yeah. I would, yeah. yeah. Having to actually go to the restaurant to get your food. <laughs> And not oh, using like no. Uber Eats or calling a taxi cab to come get right. you. Uh, and I'll, you have to know the address of where you are so they could like physically I, be like, let me find you. you know? I legitimately have never used a taxi cab until like apps existed for it. Yeah. Blockbusters will make their triumphant return. Yes. Yeah. So, Lord Blockbuster <laughs> returning now that the Netflix demon has been slain. <laughs> Uh, we would, so I had to do this in high school because I was fucking a loser and I had a flip phone in 2008. Um, but my friends and I took a trip up to, uh, Williamsburg, I guess. Um, and I drove and used my stepdad's trucker map, Mm -hmm. uh, to get to the city. And then once we were in the city. Is a trucker map like hobo glyphs? Um, no, it's just broken down by state. It's really big because it has every single like little side road and main highway and everything. And you'd have to like, you'd have to map it out yourself and be like, okay, when I hit like this highway, turn onto this highway and go this way. And so you have to pay extra attention like when you're driving. Uh, Because I really had no idea like how long it would take me to get there. (laughs) So it was just like, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, And then once I got to the city, we had printed out MapQuest directions to our hotel which were really terrible i um, like that you didn't print out map quest directions to the for the entire trip yeah i know because i i remember my father <laughs> in like 2013 or mm-hmm. something we were going somewhere and we like road tripped together and he'd printed out map quest and i was like all right, all right, pops. MapQuest is like notoriously was wrong a lot yeah. of the time. It would be like turn to left and you needed to turn right. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So I don't know. I think we kind of knew then that MapQuest was bullshit. <laughs> uh, so we, like, none of us had smartphones. Yeah. So I just used my stepdad's trucker map to get us there and it was perfectly <laughs> fine. But once we got there and we had to MapQuest it, then that's when all the trouble started. That's we when you had to her. stop and ask for directions. Yeah. Like, oh, a yeah, cave that's the other person. thing. It's like asking people for directions and stuff because mm-hmm. you don't know the very last time that i used a map to get somewhere instead of using my gps on my phone i was going to a friend's uh college uh in the middle of the night with like the with uh their little brother and whatnot and we drove off and we stopped at this random gas station and uh while we were in there this uh kid ran in covered in blood <laughs> and we were like holy shit what's going on and then like 30 more people came into the very tiny grocery uh, gas station. Were they also covered in blood? No, they were after him trying oh. to kill this person. And I had oh, me and our Jesus. person, uh, me and my friends just got in a car and we didn't pay for our gas and we left. And, uh, and you just witnessed a mountain murder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it wasn't a mountain murder, but <laughs> a valley murder. Oh. Yeah, it was me. definitely a valley murder. Oh, okay. Um, I just assumed you were driving the mountains. So it's really like that. <laughs> As a person from the mountains, Brittany so, understands what a mountain murder is. Uh, but yeah. He's not like us. Get him. <laughs> he writes with his left hand. <laughs> well, the person who was bloody was black. Oh, man. Now oh, you make me look God. an asshole. <laughs> but so is everyone else. Okay. So, <laughs> like the other thirty people trying to get him was. It's only too. funny when it's like white mountain people. Yeah. It was not funny. <laughs> it was a terrible situation. Yeah, that sounds distressing. It was yeah. extremely distressing. Ooh. So after that, I had a phone with GPS and I used it. Mm. So I haven't seen a murder since. The last time I had to stop at a gas station and ask for directions was when my phone with my GPS on it died. Ooh, that's Do you feel like a big old horse's ass, though? Like, now asking for directions. People are like, don't 
just use your phone. Yeah. And the person looked at me like I was insane. <laughs> yeah. Because they're like, why are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> Text me any questions you have. <laughs> uh, I only respond to TikToks at this point. <laughs> So I went in, I asked them for directions, and they were like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> and I was like, okay, cool. I'll take a phone charger. <laughs> yep. They, they got the sale. Yeah. So I'm trying to think about, like, what other aspects that we would... Well, like, it would fuck everything our, up. Most oh, yeah. of our entertainment it comes from the internet. Yeah. yeah. Even so, like, the movie theaters download the movies. Yeah. Into yeah. So it's like, what would we do? Like we could, we have a lot of video games we could play. I yeah. Guess. I'm coming over here. If that apocalypse occurs, yeah, because have lots of things. you <laughs> have, have or Hutch's house, like mm-hmm. analog stuff. We have a lot of books. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of great selection of video game movies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and good movies. Hutch has yeah. the movies. Like I, you were the only person I know still buying movies. Yeah, that's true. Well, Steph, my lady friend also does. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. But she's buying, like, specifically, like, movies that she loves. She's not buying, like, a whole bunch of just movies, though, right? Uh, somewhere in the middle. Okay. Yeah. No, like, Hutch just buys, like, a lot of them. Well, Hutch like, is just like, a movie exists. One, please. Well, like, growing up, my family, like, we just bought a shit ton of movies. Like, yeah. we'd go to the theater, we'd watch a movie mm-hmm. if we liked it, which we probably did. We would just buy it when it came out on VHS. <clears throat> yeah. And so we just had a shit ton of movies. Yeah. Uh, and then my uncle used to record movies off of HBO. Yeah. <laughs> so I had mm. all those, like, mixtapes yep. of, like, random-ass movies. We used to buy used VHSs from the Hollywood video. Perfect. Yeah. Which was a good way to get some weird shit. Like my mm-hmm. copy of Strange Brew was from there. Mm. Same with Top <laughs> Secret. Yeah. So in Mount Airy, we had one video store that had all like recorded from HBO. <laughs> like they were, and my favorite thing was like they were all like those VHSs from Walmart that you could get yeah. that you mm-hmm. could record over again and again and again. Yeah. So people did mm-hmm. and would fuck up these movies <laughs> all the time. So sometimes you'd rent something and then for like 50 cents and then it come home and you get like half of a movie and then half of like someone's Man. porn. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that that's, happened to me two times. So that's, oh. a, that's a really interesting point, though. So if the Internet were to go down our friends who have downloaded every movie in the history of the world, they're opening video stores. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Just we have a couple going, friends. They like have that. a copy of human like history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, and here's that, a question. That's, that's a reassuring thought because. What about our friends if, who downloaded porn? Okay. Yeah. That's oh, my other yeah. question. I'm like, if the internet went down, what would we jerk off to? Ooh. Like, Do they still make porn magazines? I, Is that still a thing? Yeah, they're <laughs> yeah. not good. No. I recently not went good. to a porn store, and there are still porn VHSs, or like mm. DVDs, um, but they are wildly variant in prices based on how new or interesting they are, <laughs> yeah. or how fringe they are. Oh. Yeah. The fringe is a really big part yeah. of it, yeah. I but, can totally see like anime being distributed by VHS again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll go back to it. We'll yeah. go we'll have we'll go to anime cons that will be advertised in magazines mm-hmm. in order to swap tapes with someone else and get uh, the that's how I watched season. a lot of anime yeah. at first was going to those like viewing play like, like I go to anime cons now and I'm like why do we have these viewing rooms now like who's mm-hmm. who's going to watch yeah. these things when I can watch anything at any moment it's right. just something you do while you wait for the panel that you want to see starts. yeah yeah <laughs> what? Something back like in that. the day but back, back in the day yeah that's how you, you watch need somewhere it. to go to air out your kigurumi and <laughs> My first anime con, one of my friends, I never could find him because he was always in the viewing areas. So and you I was just like, off, no, off in the viewing no, room. he was just like legitimately interested. And I was just like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> we have, like, you, my house, I was the only friend who had this. I had broadband internet. It's like, just come over and mm-hmm. download it. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, oh, okay. But I'm here and it's playing now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, yeah, so I used to be phys- a big physical, like, uh, movie person. I used to be a big physical music person. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then when I got my iPod, I uploaded all of my physical CDs to, like, iTunes. Yeah. But now I just play Spotify. I just yeah. pay for the yeah. Spotify premium. Mm-hmm. So many services. And we've got 
I've just got a new computer and my iTunes library is completely empty. Wow. Um, and like you, I had, dude, you haven't downloaded any programs onto your computer. You have Google Chrome and that's pretty, and that's I pretty have it. PC, that's how she gets her porn. I have PC Stitch <laughs> and I also have the Adobe Creative Suite downloaded. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> She's do got you, the basics. Those are the Discord things that I need. No, I'm not downloading Discord. I can use it in the web browser. Oh. What? Yeah, I don't use that stupid Discord app. It like opens up every time you log your computer on. And mm-hmm. That app is heavy too, because yeah. mm-hmm. it runs mm-hmm. each instance of like Room as a separate instance of the service. Mm-hmm. Does it really? Yeah. Fuck. So does Slack. That's why Slack sucks. Yeah, I don't God, have Slack. Is so power hungry. Sorry, that's a yeah. separate thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's our next topic. <laughs> how, start... how power hungry is Slack? <laughs> Garbage yeah. apps that have taken over our lives in weird ways. God damn, that's that's a fact. Thanks, um, Chrome. But but yeah, like I now I don't even really I mean, own music anymore. Yeah. Um I've kind of lost all my purchased music in the void of just like switching computers and devices and stuff. My my dad did that too. He used to have a phenomenal record collection and I think in like 2012 yeah. he just digitized mm-hmm. all of it and sold all the records. Mm-hmm. Um and now in retrospect like I realize he did it too early. Like he should have waited until like the the just record resurgence. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I probably made like 10 times as much. So one of the reasons I still buy movies is that it, it gives you a much like higher. So so the bit rates higher. So the uh, picture will still be a lot clearer. The sound will be crisper than it's if a better you, than, experience. Yeah, because, because everything like, you know, it's streamed is compressed to so save on bandwidth. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's 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 one of my things for doing I mean, that's that. the main reason why we when we talk about streaming video games, I was like, yeah, OK, <clears throat> we'll see down the road do you want to give this one another five minutes i don't care uh speaking of streaming video games i was i hooked up google stadia again yesterday Uh because i was rearranging everything and it's a lot more serviceable okay i was playing i was was playing that's what i want to hear about streaming service i was i was playing thumper it's tolerable and 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 it's it's definitely playable okay um (laughs) <laughs> All right, guys. Following review of uh, stream video game service over here, Google Stadia. You can play games on it. Yeah. yeah, legally. But no, I definitely think to close out. I guess um, we would be in complete chaos. Yeah, we'd be if, fucked. Oh uh, yeah, now. yeah. I, I, I honestly, like, I there can't would be imagine. important issues that would be a problem. Uh, but and there, would there would also, also be like be... tedious convenience things yeah, yeah. So that you don't want to complain about, things. but you really want to complain about. Yeah, it would be mm. super inconvenient, but yeah. Yeah, the convenience factor is just like, oof, oof. And it's also this, I assume, is not a rip on like kids these days or so. No, like, I was more thinking about the, the TV show Dark Angel. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What was that I, weird I Johnny that. Depp movie where he's the like, network? No, he gets uploaded to the uh, yeah. internet. I forgot what it's called. I, forget, I don't know either. No, but okay. like one uh-huh. large electromagnetic pulse could wipe out a significant part of the internet infrastructure and yeah. we would be deprived of all of these comforts of life. And for me, the thought of like building back from where we'd land after an occurrence like that mm-hmm. to like whatever the future looks like, that's... a weird for me to think about there are six different sites on the planet that download the entire yeah. internet uh every week yeah and when they so like we have backups yes so yeah. there's that we I do feel like, as though, long as but if that storage is cloud-based storage mm-hmm. then i feel like though if there was a true person of chaos out there who was like you know what i'm gonna fuck up everything and be like the internet terrorist a chaos and general they went around <laughs> and they strategically like attack these places yeah. that downloaded the internet and also cut the internet from yeah. Uh, like a country or whatever that they yeah. wanted to attack, that would be a really great way to cripple that country. Yeah, would we absolutely. be able to go to war now with without internet? I don't think so. It would. I wonder. It would be it would a lot be more harder. boots on the ground rather yeah. than drone strikes well, and, and stuff. I, I think part of the thing though is that we've much like with uh, we've lost the ability or we've we don't care about going into the grocery store anymore because we can just do the app and and get the groceries delivered to us. There are whole other things that we've just lost, like abilities to interact with the world. Mm -hmm. And I can't imagine that 
I can't memorize the, phone numbers anymore. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine that the military industrial complex is prepared to not have the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Because I think our soldiers are just trained differently now. Yeah. Yeah. They're, it's not World War One where yeah. they're just trained like dig hole, mm-hmm. do this. They're yeah. like, all right, get out, get out your GPS and look through this monitor and yeah. use like this button when you're ready to fire the missile. You know, it's not. It's like now you gotta go kill a man. And maybe you lose your weapon, and you're going to have to fight a man now. <laughs> you said that with a weird amount of respect. Like, good, honest killing. So, in the movie Transcendence with Johnny Depp, they uh, actually have to fight him. Mm. They and have to fight the internet? They have to fight basically the internet. We have and, to outrun the internet. And they have these, like, weird things that they can, like, block off the signal from getting to them and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And they go to, like, 1940s like military equipment that they still have functioning and shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. That is that is like, like air gapped or yeah, yeah. gun or whatever. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah. a crazy. Yeah, yeah. It gets wild. So, like, it's actually wild, wild so, west as far as like as far as uh, it's a they, steampunk spider. Yeah, yeah. They're like <laughs> it's like 1940s World War II equipment fighting nanobots. It's bizarre. Oh um, wow. You should Transcendence. I, I want to watch movie. this. Now. I've never seen it. Before. Transcendence was a good movie. I just want to watch uh, Lawnmower Man now, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> well, great. <laughs> We're gonna go watch Lawnmower Man. Bye. <laughs> No, we'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> also, uh, on the note of Wild Wild West and the giant steampunk spider, uh, you should, everyone watching this should go and look up Kevin Smith's uh, <laughs> Superman Return story. Yes, yeah. it's great. <laughs> which has a weird intersection with Wild Wild West. Yep. yep. Bye. 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 Bye.